I cook pretty much all of my own meals, so it's nice to have some quick ones, and I will share how I do it because I have lymphocytic colitis. Hi there, welcome to episode 18 of my chronic illness journey. My name is Shay McIntosh Ford and I live in Tulsa with my husband, our two boys, and our little puppy. I was diagnosed with lymphocytic colitis last April, so almost a year ago. It was 13 months after my bout with COVID-19. This is a vlog about how lymphocytic colitis affects my day-to-day -day life. I record what I eat and when. From time to time in this vlog, I will be linking up here a little I every time there's a recipe where I have already made a recording for that recipe. I will put the little I up here. And I drink only water, homemade beef bone broth, and I can have a teacup of coffee every other day for the most part. Though as you'll see, I do drink an occasional glass of organic no sulfite added red wine, Cabernet. The reason I drink that wine is for pain if I can't fall asleep. Because colitis is an irritable bowel disease, I will also be talking about the more unpleasant parts of this condition, specifically whenever I have to go have a BM. <laughs> That can be more than once a day, but I actually did really well this week. I've had a lot more normal bowel movements this week than I've ever had since COVID. When I do have a bad trip to the bathroom, I end up taking a gluten-free version of Imodium and Pepto-Bismol. The bismuth tablet tastes a little sweet to me, so my running joke is that every time I take it, it turns into a different dessert. But I didn't have to take it at all this week. Diet most certainly matters with this condition, and I'm trying to figure out what works for me. Right now, it's been a carnivore diet. I started primarily with ruminant meats, so only beef, lamb, and bison. But I've been able to reincorporate ghee butter, because it doesn't have casein in it, or lactose, and salmon. I did try, well, you'll see. I tried something else new, and it backfired. <laughs> If you suffer from colitis, I hope that something I try or do or say here might help you too. So before I get into my vlog, I am sharing how I make my food, the things that I generally eat. This first recipe is sort of my own little concoction. It's what I do with leftover big pieces of meat because I'm the only one that eats the meat that I get from my ranch some of those pieces of meat are huge. It'll be leftovers for several days, and this is how I make it. It's actually a nice, very quick go-to meal, so I don't have to spend every day cooking something. And after that, we'll go into my vlog. This is a plate of meat. This happens to be beef heart. It can be arm roast. Any big serving of meat that I can't eat in one sitting, I just wrap it up in a plate. This is beef heart, and I'm showing you this because it's still kind of on the raw side. So I cut it up into these cubes. I measure about five ounces of the protein, and I put it right in the bowl. That's why it's on the scale, so that I can make sure I have enough there. And then this flat thing is either tallow or ghee. I can't remember what I cooked the beef heart in. Um, in this particular video, but it's some kind of a fat. It's probably tallow. And I it just, it's part of the meal. I pop it in there and I scrape as much of, you know, what's left from cutting it up. And I just put more of it in there. Eventually I'll just clean the entire plate, put it all in for the next time I go to put them, use this bit of meat. I'm not going to need the knife and fork, so I've put that in the sink and cover it back up and put that away. And I'm using my pink Himalayan salt, not because it's a frou-frou salt, but because it has a grinder and it's just the pink Himalayan salt. And then I have the grass-fed ghee butter. I'm going to end up using all of what's left in this jar, but because my body runs on fat and not carbs, I just use plenty of it. 
big dollop of ghee butter and I'm going to microwave it the first time for about a minute and I'm going to give it a stir and the second time I microwave it it's only about 30 seconds but you don't want to leave it alone occasionally when I microwave the meat I'll have some of it just sort of like literally pop out of the bowl because it's gotten too hot and I hadn't stirred it so you always want to make sure you stop and stir because it can just pop and literally jump out of the bowl into the microwave so another 30 seconds and it's pretty much done at this point here it is in the melted butter you can see all the pieces are fully cooked that's not really a big deal but if you prefer your meat fully cooked you can good morning it's sunday and you know what that means <gasps> that's not liver i completely forgot to thaw out any liver yesterday so it's still frozen i'm gonna have it for dinner so in the meantime this is arm roast chunks in the tops of the beef bone, beef bone broth uh, from the jars so it's beef tallow so that's what's for breakfast. I did need wine last night. I thought maybe I could skip it, but I was having more of the spasmy pains. Maybe the spasmy pains was from the exercise because finally I'm feeling the muscle strain and it's, we're trying to strengthen my core. I have no core. And so maybe that's what was causing all the spasms. I don't know, but I'm sore today, but it's a good sore not a colitis sore which is nice now it's time for liver this is what's for dinner and it's in ghee butter i guess i'm okay i'm gonna have salmon tomorrow and i'm gonna skip the sardines this time and i'm gonna give myself about a week without the sardines to see what happens and then reintroduce them again i don't think it was the sardines i think it was just all the activity last week good morning Time for breakfast, arm roast in ghee butter. It's a coffee day. It was really crampy last night, so I needed wine. I think what I'm going to do is, if I don't have a BM today, I'm gonna have a coffee day tomorrow too. Last week I had that teeny, teeny, tiny BM, like it was hardly anything. It wasn't constipation, but I feel like I have to go and I'm not going, hence all the cramping. I'm gonna try the coffee, because it's, except for that teeny, tiny moment, it's been four days, like today is day four of not going. I feel like I'm a very delicately balanced ecosystem. You take out one thing, you add another, and you mess it all up. Hopefully I can go today because I wanted to do yoga, but I'm afraid to go to yoga because I might have to run to the bathroom. I'm so glad I did not go to yoga because I just had a bowel movement and the class would still be going on right now. So I would have to get up and leave. <laughs> but I do feel better. Fortunately, it was absolutely normal and was even a ghost wipe, so that was nice. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll have another one. I do feel better. I'm still a little bit on the crampy side. Kind of also disappointed that I'm not gonna have a cup of coffee tomorrow. <laughs> Time to eat. Tonight is salmon and ghee butter, and there are two fillets there since I'm not having any more sardines this week. I've been pre feeling pretty crampy this afternoon. I don't know, I might need wine tonight. We'll see. I haven't had any bone broth yet today. I'm gonna have some after I eat my salmon and maybe that'll make me feel a little bit better. I will let you know tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. I have a different sort of breakfast this morning. Non-carnivore, although there's lots of butter in here. This is coconut flour, about two tablespoons of coke, a little more than two tablespoons, like two big heaping big spoons soup spoons of coconut flour and a dash of salt and ghee butter which is about equal parts to the coconut flour and the reason i'm eating this is because my personal trainer wanted me to try it to see how i reacted to it i did used to eat it in the past it's possible that i was reacting to too much coffee at the time since i had a really good bm yesterday maybe this will be a good judgment of whether or not i can handle coconut flour and it's actually nice because coconut flowers a little sweet this actually is very close to a shortbread cookie because there's no baking powder in it i don't cook it i just he calls it a row which I, I guess means raw coconut flour row where i just eat it uncooked that's literally all i did was i mixed ghee butter coconut flour and salt 
and I'm gonna eat it. And I remember when I eat, when I would eat this before, you have to eat it extremely slowly, like teeny, teeny, tiny bites. But if you eat too fast, and like if, if I were to put all of this in my mouth, it would get stuck in my throat. Yeah. Shortbread cookie. I'm really gonna enjoy my breakfast this morning. Hopefully it doesn't send me running to the bathroom. I wish it was a coffee day. Sorry, the lighting is really weird right now. The sun is intense and it is wildly warm it's almost 80 degrees and it's only march 1st it is time to eat so i've got arm roast and ghee butter i've been feeling really bad because i just did not get enough sleep i'm exhausted and my belly's really crampy and that's frustrating because that coconut flour butter mixture it's not a fair assessment of whether or not i reacted to it i don't know if i did i think i'm just exhausted maybe i have reacted to it I don't know. I hate this condition. I never know what it is I'm reacting to. I did have a BM earlier. It was a very small one and it was a little after three and I didn't have time to record about it because I had to go pick up my boys from school. So I just, and I didn't take any anti-diarrheals. So I just decided to wait until I ate to tell you about it. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed early and I'm probably gonna have wine to do so because as tired as I am, I'm still hurting. Good morning, it's Wednesday, and of course that means liver. It's also a coffee day. I did go to bed early, I needed wine, and even with the wine, I kept waking up in the night because of pain. There's a lot of pain. No more coconut flour for a while. I might even reschedule my personal training session today because I'm still in pain. It still hurts. Yeah, no more coconut flour. It tasted so good though. It's very shortbread cookie-ish. I'm just gonna eat my breakfast and hope I start feeling better soon. So I've just come back from the bathroom and I had a very normal BM, despite the fact that I've been in quite a bit of abdominal pain today. Hopefully this will make me feel better. I ended up not writing today, just basically just taking it as easy as possible. I should get a little bit more reading done, but I just, I'm vegging because I just haven't been not been feeling well. I'm still crampy, so even though I had a normal BM, I'm still hurting. Maybe not quite as bad, but it still hurts. We'll see what happens when I get moving around uh, when I go to pick up the boys from school. I hate this condition. No more coconut flour. All right, sorry for the sun. It's that time of year. That's actually why my harp is not sideways like it normally is because I mismeasured when I bought these curtains and it's not nearly wide enough to cover this window so I've got a strip of curtain that's shading my harp there and that's the only way to shade it is to make sure that the harp is facing straight on instead of side to side. Anyway, it's time to eat and so I've got the last of the arm roast in ghee butter. I'm feeling a little bit better um, but I'm still having moments of pretty bad spasm pains. So I don't know. I'll let you know tomorrow if I have to end up with wine. Hopefully not, but we will see. So I'm going to eat and watch the news and try not to stress over it. If I don't watch the news, I'll stress out about what's going on. The news is just, it's almost all bad right now. Makes me want to go out and buy some sunflowers. I think I just might do that. Good morning. Sorry for the noise, but I'm having beef heart this morning, which is why there's noise, because the rest of it's still cooking. This is the thin part that cooks first. I'm eating this late because it is beef heart and it takes a while to cook, and I did not have time to cook it before taking the boys to school. I did need the wine last night. I think I'm feeling better today. I did wake up with some bazinate cramping, but that seems to have gone away. Hopefully it stays away. Time for dinner. I'm not having beef heart because it's too close to bedtime. That's too much B vitamins. I'm having a couple of salmon steaks instead in ghee butter. I'm doing okay. Still like, I'm not, I'm uncomfortable. It's not as bad as it's been. I don't think I'm gonna need wine tonight, so that's nice. Good morning. I wasn't hungry when I ate that salmon last night, but the trainers at the health club, they're like, oh, you need to eat more protein, eat more protein, try to eat twice a day. And of course, 
I had some pretty intense cramping last night, so I had to have wine. I'm feeling better this morning, but I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna eat when I'm hungry. I wasn't hungry yet until now. Now it's time to eat. It is beef heart and ghee butter, and it's coffee day. I have my last personal training session that's included in the price of our membership today at five. Hopefully I can get back on track because I think I got messed up with trying to follow their suggestions nutritionally, adding some carbs with the coconut flour and eating twice a day, even if I'm not hungry. I think I just need to go back and do what I was doing right as we signed up and then see if the exercises makes me better. It would be nice to go scuba diving with my husband in the summertime. It would be nice to be better too, have a little bit more energy. I just had a completely normal bowel movement. <laughs> Maybe that'll end the cramping. I mean, I, it hasn't been bad this morning. I'm a little uncomfortable, but hopefully I'll be good tonight and I won't need the wine. I'm probably not gonna have a second meal today. I ate a little late this morning and I'm just not hungry. <laughs> of course, it's only been a couple hours, so. So it is really late, but I got hungry and I stayed hungry for an hour. <laughs> I decided the exercise made me hungry. So I am gonna have a second meal today. It's just weird eating so late. I felt pretty good after exercising. I mean, tired, my arms are, well, they're better now, but they were kind of jello-y. I'll probably feel it, if not tomorrow, then the next day. I've got two salmon fillets and some ghee butter. Hopefully it won't affect me. I don't think it will. I'm actually hungry this time, so that's good. Good morning. I'm not particularly hungry, but I'm hungry enough because, you know, I ate so late last night. Hubby and I are planning to go to a yoga class at 10.30, so I figured I better go ahead and eat now, give my food a chance to digest a bit. I'm having beef heart in tallow discs from the tops of my jars of bone broth. Because I'm going to yoga and I haven't had any issues this week needing to take anti-diarrheals, I've had multiple normal bowel movements, so I'm going to go ahead and though it's not a coffee day, I'm gonna have coffee. Part of the reason is because the inverted poses for yoga give me that headache, so I'm hoping the coffee will help. I'm also gonna take an acetaminophen before we go. I've actually been up since five this morning because I had a really bad cramp in my right foot. <laughs> So I might drink an extra jar of bone broth today. And hopefully the yoga and all the stretching and stuff will help too with the cramping. But I had to get up because it didn't matter what I did, how I moved in bed, that foot was just gonna keep cramping. It stopped when I stood up. I'm probably gonna go to bed early tonight since I had to get up so early on a Saturday. I'm feeling good. The food last night did not cramp me up because I was actually hungry. As long as I'm moving and exercising, I think I can handle two meals a day. It's just when I'm not. I don't need that much food if I'm not gonna be moving. I just had a BM and it was almost normal. When I say it's almost normal, it means it wasn't runny or watery, but I do have to use a couple extra flushable wipes in order to make sure I'm clean. I count that as a win. I ended up not going to yoga this morning. We did not know that our car tags were expired. <laughs> Apparently in Oklahoma, they don't automatically send you the tag renewal. Hubby went to go drive somewhere this morning and got pulled over. <laughs> so we found ourselves in line at the tag agency instead of going to the gym. <laughs> but we'll probably go to the gym a little bit later today because I'm feeling pretty good because I did have that coffee this morning. Fortunately, I haven't reacted badly to it, but because it wasn't completely normal, I'm not gonna have coffee tomorrow. I'm not gonna risk that. We went out to dinner, my second foray out into the restaurant world. This time we went for sushi. I had sashimi, basically. I just ate raw sushi grade salmon. And that was it, that was all I ate and sparkling water. We'll see how I do. As long as it's not been cross-contaminated, I guess it would be okay because I eat cooked salmon just fine. That was about an hour ago. I don't know exactly when we ate, but it was about, I wanna say seven o'clock-ish. And I will leave it here. I hope I've helped you. 
If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put those down below. I will also be linking down below any other information that I find useful. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye. Boys, please be quiet. Boys, I'm trying to record. Can you please be quiet?